Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see a very basic but a very important technique of animation and that is called morphing. First of all, all of us must know that what morphing is. So morphing is the conversion of one object into another through animation. Suppose there is a square that is lying around if it turns into a circle and it is kind of an animation that the square is changing itself into the shape of a circle so that is known as morphing and that is exactly that what we are going to create in our today's video so if we just preview our animation this is the basic morphing animation that we are going to create today and uh, since morphing is a very important technique, so I would request you all to please pay close attention to this video. First of all, we are supposed to create a composition to uh, just start with our things. So I'm naming it as morphing because that is the central idea. Now keeping a frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of around 10 seconds is what I'm going to choose in this composition. I hit OK. Next, what we are going to do is uh, right click, uh, go to new and select a solid. Now name it as BG. So I'm adding a solid layer, but, uh, which will act as my background. Now go to effects and presets and search for an effect called four color gradient. You will find it under generate, uh, take it and apply it onto your solid layer. Now for the color one, I'm going to choose a reddish color, orangish red color, just like this. Um, this is a hexadecimal value of the color that I'm choosing, but you're free to choose any color. Now for the rest three colors, I'm choosing a shade of dark gray, just like this. So uh, what I am going to do is just select the same color like this and grab this anchor point for the very first um, color and bring it around here. So this is the pattern of the background that I have got and I'm pretty happy with it. If you want, you can just uh, choose the same values as I'm choosing or um, if you want, you can choose any values or any color of your choice that's totally up to you now once you're happy with your background uh, you are supposed to lock it from here the next thing is uh, we have to uh, add a shape so basically we will first add a square and that is what is going to morph into a circle so for that uh, grab onto your shape tool make sure it is a rectangle Make sure that your fill is set to a solid color and your stroke is set to a none. And uh, I'm keeping a white color. If you want, you can choose the same color. It's totally up to you again. Now from the rectangle, we know that if we want to make a square, then we have to press onto the shift key. But uh, at this point, we are going to drag a rectangle by pressing the shift key and along with it we are also going to press the alt key because uh, we want this rectangle or this shape to give us a path and this path will be going to uh, morph into the another path that is our circle so i will just explain the dynamics of the paths later on but um at this point make sure that you draw your square by pressing on the shift as well as the ALT key. So this is my square and I'm happy with it. Uh, make sure to align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. Next thing we are going to do is uh, click on this shape layer and go to the pan anchor point tool. Bring up this uh, tile and action save grid and drag this anchor point to the center of this plus sign. That is the exact center of our composition. If you want, you can just zoom in and adjust the position of your anchor point just like this. 
now once you are happy with it uh, what we are going to do is uh, just go to this shape layer if we expand it we will find rectangle one and this is this path one that we have got and it is totally because of the alt key that we pressed while dragging our square so make sure you are on the very first frame of your composition and keyframe the value of path now move forward to about uh, 4 seconds in time and add another keyframe for this path now if we just uh, come back to our composition now go to the shape tool again and change it to an ellipse tool This time what we are going to do is uh, draw a circle from this ellipse tool. So again we have to draw the circle by pressing on the shift as well as the alt key together. Now this is the circle that I have drawn and again we have to go to the align tab and align it to the center both horizontally and vertically. The next thing that is we have to adjust its anchor point uh, to the center of the composition just like this. Now once you are happy with your uh, center point you can just zoom out of your uh, composition and uh, so what we are going to do now is uh, go to our shape layer 2, expand it, go to ellipse 1, here you will find path 1 and that is totally cause uh, we just pressed the alt key uh, while drawing while drawing our circle so go back to 2 seconds and keyframe this value of path and copy this keyframe using control c now what we are going to do is uh, go back to our shape layer 1 press u to bring up the keyframes and press control v over here to just paste it now if we just um, turn off the visibility of our second shape layer then we can see that okay so this is the animation that we have got but it is moving very slow so what we are going to do is grab on these keyframes and decrease the distance between them instead of two seconds I am keeping now a distance of one seconds between each shape so if we just preview our animation it looks like this which is uh, cool but um, this circle is not remaining for a longer period of time so I'm just going to change this value of the keyframe a little bit copy this keyframe and paste it again over here so if we just preview our animation now So this is the morphing that we have got and it looks pretty cool. Now if you want you can just uh, delete this shape layer too because we do not need it anymore. Next thing what we are going to do is uh, for an extra effect. First of all just uh, turn off this uh, title action save grid. And we are going to add a text that is going to signify that what is actually happening here. So grab onto your text tool and type in morphing for this i'm going to choose small caps uh, and adjust its dimensions a little bit now i'm going to uh, change its color to a white and uh, go to effects and presets and search for a drop shadow effect apply it onto the text and uh, just apply a little shadow to it now what we are going to do is go to effects and presets again and uh, we have to just search for an effect called Y cascade that is uh, its full name is 3d basic y cascade and apply it to your morphing text so if we just preview our animation from the very first frame then we have got this
Now this is a pretty cool looking morphing animation and I hope you all have enjoyed this. And if you do, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for more such tutorials. Till then, goodbye.